What is up console superstars and how are you all doing today? I'm hoping you guys are all having if not going to have a spectacular day and night And let's continue this Alex Rodriguez player lock in farewell tour And as you guys can see the two faces of the franchises are Miguel Sano and Brian McCann But little does Brian McCann know that in real life Gary Sanchez would become the current face of the team and A-Rod is now hitting two outs in this inning five pitches thrown so far and he's just trying to get a base hit he has some shades on so he's obviously protecting his vision from the sun and he has currently 713 career home runs he is one away from actually tying with the babe and he gets a four seam fastball right down the middle but we just keep on dropping the zone a little bit too low and that is a problem for us as that is why he hits a bunch of fly outs because we dropped the zone if we would leave the four seamer or the zone instead of the four seamer right where the pitch is then I'm pretty sure Aero would be able to drive those pitches without a problem the pitch comes and it's a four seamer that he just catches a bit of as he was just late and that was a line drive towards the right field line so it's a one two count the pitch comes now and it's another four seamer that he hits extremely well out there into the outfield but the center fielder is right there to make the play so he makes the final out of the inning and the Yankees end up doing nothing that inning to be entirely correct so A-Rod is playing third base today top of the fourth Zero outs, 44 pitches for Nolasco so far. He's just trying to get a pitch to hit, maybe get on base. The pitch comes, and it's a slider that he swings extremely early for. So A-Rod needs to just tone it down a little bit and recognize the pitches this time. I believe it was another off-speed pitch that he just manages to clip a little bit of with his bat, and he hits a little chopper right in front of the catcher and Kurt Suzuki is able to make the play without a problem Eddie Rosario now hitting it looks like he's going to bunt considering the defense we have right now and this is a questionable decision considering there are two outs right now so we will most likely be able to make the play without a problem and the throw is right there to Mark Teixeira for the third out of the inning and we are out of this inning trying to just hit some so Eduardo Nunez is now hitting and I'm actually gonna charge up a little bit more towards him because he has bunted before for a hit the pitch comes and he actually hits a pretty hard hit ground ball to A-Rod but A-Rod goes to his left and he makes the play without a problem as A-Rod still has the leather although he probably does not have enough leather to contend for the gold glove so now there's a runner on second base second base and Alaska was pitching and A-Rod has a chance to drive the runner in he gets a slider a little bit to one side that was at 81 miles per hour so if A-Rod would have even liked it, I'm pretty sure he would have been extremely early on ter in terms of trying to hit the ball. And right now, we're just trying to put the zone wherever the ball comes. I'm pretty sure I moved the zone up, but it says that I moved it a little bit down. So, unfortunately, we did not get the job done there. We're just trying to get a fastball right now to hit. And instead, we get what seemed to be a slider that we absolutely crushed the center field. And the center fielder is there, but the runner ends up tagging to third base I thought he was actually going home because I did not see anybody on third and unfortunately with one out and a runner on third the Yankees were unable to capitalize and actually get ourselves a run on the board to help out Luis Severino he's actually bunting and it's a good thing that we actually decided to go up a little bit and we are able to make the barehanded grab without a problem so bunting with two outs is definitely questionable top of the eighth there are two outs currently and A-Rod needs to get on base, even if there are only two outs, to just help the team. He gets a two-seamer, in which I'm pretty sure I moved the zone up, but it seems like I did not move the zone at all. This guy throws two fastballs, a curveball, and a slider, so we can expect the hard stuff, but also be ready for the off-speed. And we swing very early at the fastball, so I don't necessarily know what we were expecting to do with that pitch. And he throws another fastball that we end up shopping up to the third baseman. For the final out of the inning and unless the Yankees score a run we are going to end up getting shut out in this game so let's see what happens and it seems like we did end up getting shut out so let's go on to game number two so the Yankees have been getting cold and A-Rod was actually benched in the previous game and now Nolan Arenado seems like he's going to be bunting with the man on first base to move him over which is again as I have said 
previously a very questionable decision because I am almost positive that the Rockies would never make Arenado bunt, especially in the first inning with only a runner on first. They believe in his power too much to actually be making him bunt, and this is an error with the game that needs to be fixed for MLB 17 to show. A fastball comes to A-Rod, and he absolutely crushes it, and he sends it out of here. I'm going to guess straight off the bat. It is 329 feet, and that is going to be my guess. And with that home run, guys, he has tied Babe Ruth for the home run record, and that is Incredible, 714 home runs, tying him with the Babe Ruth, and that was actually 360 feet. So A-Rod has done it. He has tied Babe Ruth, and he is one away from actually passing Babe Ruth and becoming third all-time in the home run record list. And here he is getting a curtain call from Yankee Stadium. So this is what he, I would imagine, wished he could have done in real life. But he might get a chance to do it next year with another team that is not the Yankees, like, let's say, the Miami Marlins, or is A-Rod just done for real? He gets another fastball, and he absolutely demolishes, out, demolishes it out into center field. I actually thought we had a chance at maybe 715 and would have had two epic cinematics in the same game. But unfortunately, that was just a fly out to the center fielder. We're actually going to play a little bit in. We've been playing a little bit in with everybody just in case they do end up bunting. He hits a pop-up to the foul line. And I don't know if A-Rod has the speed to actually get there. And that was such a nonchalant way to catch the ball. He could have easily dropped that. So there we can say A-Rod is just being A-Rod right there. Just kidding. That is something you can only say with Manny. Just kidding. The runner goes. It's a pitch out. And is he going to get gunned out? No. He is just too quick. So even a pitch out was unable to stop Jacoby Ellsbury. And there's a runner on second base. 1-0 count. And A-Rod is just looking to drive Jacoby Ellsbury in. And that is a changeup that he sing swings way out in front of. And guys, the Yankees have gotten cold. When you look at the lineup before a game, most of the players have all gotten cold. A-Rod gets the pitch to hit, and he drives that fairly deep. I actually thought that was out of here, just because right field is so short. But it serves as a sacrifice fly as the runner moves to third base. But unfortunately, the Yankees were unable to do anything with the runner on third right there. And it's 3-1. to one. The Colorado Rockies have taken the lead. Gerardo Parra hits the ball. A-Rod ends up diving. He shoots from his knees. And is he able to make the play? Yes, he is. So vintage Alex Rodriguez right there. You guys have seen him here on this channel. He's 1-3 for three so far today. And today, all he's looking for is maybe a multi-home run game and bring the Yankees some good news. So he gets a 14 fastball that he could have definitely destroyed to pass Babe Ruth on the all-time home run list, but he ended up just missing it. The second pitch comes, and he hits a high fly ball, but this time it's to center field, and this is most likely his final at-bat of the game. So A-Rod, unfortunately, was not able to break the all-time home run record by Babe Ruth or pass him on third, not break the record. But he was able to tie him, and hopefully in the next couple of episodes, he is going to be able to actually break it. So thumbs up if you guys want to see A-Rod break it. But as always, guys, if you haven't subscribed already to the console superstars, make sure you do by hitting that subscribe button. And as always, have a great day and night. Stay positive, keep grinding, keep smiling, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, console superstars.